excited because I can't wait to meet my three friends that I've already met and I feel shy, nervous and happy at the same time. It's a big day for this Year 5 class from Thornton Primary School on the outskirts of Bradford. I'm a little nervous because I don't know if I'm going to make any new friends. They're taking part in a year-long linking project with Barker End Primary in the city centre. Today it's Thornton's turn to pay a visit. I'm feeling excited because I want to meet my new friend and also make friends with new people. Today was the second visit for the children to meet up together. The first time we'd been to Nelbank, which is an activity centre. Um, the children linked somewhat on that visit, um, not as much as we would have liked. Thank you for doing that. Sometimes it is hard to think how we're actually feeling and I've realised from doing this this morning how you've got lots of very, very mixed up emotions today. Do you think they might change as we go throughout today? Yeah. Yes. Yes? I hope so. OK, guys, we're going to have to get going now because the bus will be here. I believe that school linking is very important for this school because with the majority of white children, it's important that they have the opportunity to mix more with, with children from other backgrounds in different settings. They get the opportunity to share ideas and to uh, share the differences between their school and the other school which they visit. I think school linking provides an opportunity for us to explore what community cohesion means. Providing a vehicle for exploration of who we all are, of identity and diversity. And it is just a vehicle, it's not an end in itself. OK, guys, we're almost here. The model we've used of, of school linking a lot in Bradford is pairs of primary schools where one year group is linked with, with the parallel year group in another school. And the, the, the way the district is in Bradford, that, you know, there's, there's quite stark differences in, in the ethnic makeup of some of those schools, and so that provided a very obvious opportunity for bringing children together from different backgrounds to explore those differences. Welcome to Barker End. We hope you enjoy the activities that we have planned for you. We also hope that you have a nice time in our school, and, you, and we hope you make a new friends in a friendly school. Over the year they will meet several times. They will meet in a neutral venue, which is really important to establish the relationship on equal grounds. And, and then they will visit each other's schools several times. They'll communicate in between times. They'll do a lot of reflection on what they're learning separately and collectively and, and build their kind of confidence and skills in, in, in terms of asking questions and exploring issues that come up. If you're not already with your partner, will you find your partner, please? Yeah. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn to our partner, have a look at our partner, and we're going to see if we can find three similarities that we can see. At the beginning of the year, or kind of, where are we now? Nearly midpoint through a year, but it's only the second actual meeting of the children. It's really important there's a good blend um, through the day of quite light activity, which is just supportive of um, encouraging conversation. We're both wearing jumpers. Both wearing shoes. Your eyes are hazelish. My eyes are hazel. Um, the game that we played was looking at the similarities and differences, and it was a game just to get eye contact, to get children looking at each other and working with each other. This time, it's not how we look. It's looking at similarities and differences that we can't see. Yeah. Roller skate. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like dogs? Yeah. I like cats and kittens. Okay, we'll quickly go around and let's see what kind of things you came up with for your invisible differences. We spot football teams, but we spot different teams. I have a dog and she has a cat. We're different cultures and I'm older than her. Before we went, children said, I won't know how to speak to my friend at, at the other school, but actually giving them that task allowed them just to talk freely. We all live in housing. We all wear a uniform. Do you like pizza? And it's making the children to actually look at each other and see these similarities and differences, I think, which did surprise the children, actually. They didn't expect to have so many similarities between themselves. OK, what kind of things have you come up with this time and the similar? We're both the youngest in the class. We're both Muslims. We all like ice cream. Mm -hmm. But we're nervous to meet. 
think for our children to get to know other Bradford children where there's a lot in common, there are a lot of interests that they can find between themselves, and yet to meet children who they wouldn't come across just playing out in the street, um, that's a fantastic uh, way of ensuring there's some kind of cohesion, there's some kind of awareness of the uh, other groups in Bradford. The more experience they get as children, the, the fewer barriers they're going to put up, the fewer prejudices they're going to learn. On your tables you'll find that you have a Venn diagram. And on this Venn diagram we're going to be thinking about our schools. If this is Barker End side, you need to write down some of the things that Barker End has got, Henry. This side is some of the things that Thornton have got. If there's anything that is similar between the two schools, where will that go? Where will that go? In the middle. It's really important that the work we do isn't, isn't superficial and, and, and isn't just a contrived thing where, you know, you just put children in a room together and they seem to get on and you think, oh, that's great, you know, look, we're all human beings after all and, oh, what a relief, you know, we all go home happy. I mean, that's, that's a kind of almost an entry point so the other activity would be actually trying to develop conversations around joint interests rooted in some area of the curriculum. More children the same religion we have lots of children believe lots of different things. The main reason for doing the Venn diagram activity was to really find out about the two schools. The children came in and went in a hall, walked through the outside school and then they went straight into a classroom so they hadn't seen the rest of school. The Barker End children had never seen Thornton so it was nice for them to hear about Thornton and find out what it was like there as well. We have trays on the table. We have um, you have fountain. fountain. I think the main benefit we've found is the way it supports the PSACE citizenship and it comes in through geography and, and supports everything so I don't think we've taken the tack of we have a cohesion agenda here, we have the Every Child Matters agenda, we have the Teaching Children agenda and Above all, for our kind of area where many, many of our children have English as an additional language, speaking and listening is one of our really key areas. How many playgrounds do you have? You've got two playgrounds. Okay, I'll put that. And because the children get really excited about what they're doing, because the activities they're doing on linking schools are fun, and they don't feel under pressure in the same ways they might in certain kinds of lessons, and there's an awful lot more to talk about. It's childlike, it's at their level, but it's getting their curiosity just sort of, you know, developing and, and then that leads, as the year progresses, into, into deeper questioning. And there was a really interesting conversation going on over here between these groups of boys. Henry, can you explain what you found that Barker End had that Thornton didn't? The water fountain, which we've been asking for for ages in school council, which we never have got and they've got one. OK, Rehan, and what did you suggest there? Because last year the children like they kept on asking and asking. Like, he was school counsellor last year, and uh, you need to keep on bugging them and bugging them. So you've offered Henry some advice, so if he keeps asking, maybe yeah. that will be I'm going to try to keep asking because he says he's um, looking into the catalogue of them, but I don't believe him. You kind of get the sense that, that it, it's showing them other possibilities, and it's again, it's about confidence boosting and realising that your own way isn't just the only way or the right way or whatever, but that, that, that curiosity then becomes actually sort of quite productive. You found out what you've liked about Thornton School, what you've liked about Barker End, what's similar, what's different. Now you're going to design your ideal school. Yay. Okay. You need to have a conversation definitely with your friend, deciding on the things that your friend likes, the things that you like. You might need to compromise a little bit. Who knows what that word means, to compromise. Connect each other's ideas. Good boy, well done. To connect your ideas together. That will actually link into the work that we've been doing in class in geography, looking at our local area. The ongoing challenges for us really are about how we really embed it and, and extend the, the impact of what we do because obviously it takes a lot of time and effort to plan a really good linking year. Even one of the days takes a lot of time and effort. So we have to look at what's the payoff then for the whole school, for the whole community.
if we get the cohesion right in school, I think it is more likely to be right outside of school. And also I think if we have the appropriate cohesion, it helps with developing positive behaviour and that then helps with the learning. And let's all listen to each other's ideas. That has its own momentum, if you like. Um, rather than feeling we've got a duty, we've got an agenda, this is about cohesion, we know that. Um, but there are so many other umbrellas that it all comes under in what we're doing with children every day that it doesn't have to feel like it's a big deal, if you know what I mean. Charlie, just explain your football pitch. I've just remembered that was a great idea over there. Here, it's um, a football field for Barker and Thornton primary children connecting together in a football team. Well done. And what did you call it, Charlie? Home of, Thont of Barker and Thornton FC. There are always risks involved in this kind of thing and some people obviously would prefer not to take the risk and just stay in the comfort zone. Uh, I suppose as educators I feel that our, our, our role is it's really important that we support risk taking within as safe an arena as we can possibly make so the days are always a, a combination of, of fun, light activities but with a more serious element and then it's up to the teacher really to take that further back in the, their own classroom so that every, every time they meet something is then extended from that back in their own classrooms. And it, it might sound a bit glib, but actually you can do it sensitively, and I, I think it, it's really important that we, that we just do it. At the end of a long day, a small group of Thornton pupils were able to stay behind to share their reactions with their teacher. So guys, we've had a really great day, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. The first thing I'd like to know is, though, what was the best thing about today? It's the best thing you remember, Marlo. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed designing um, your ideal school, the school that I'd really, really like to go in. After any visit like this, it's really important that we have an evaluation and reflective time with the children. Was there any time today where you felt a little bit unsure or a little bit uncomfortable? Did anyone feel unsure? There, there can be times where, where children have come away from a Lincoln Schools visit with a different view or maybe something that they've felt uncomfortable about. I was thinking, what's it going to be like? Am I going to be shy all day? Or will I cope? And, but I caught I cope really well all day. You did, didn't and it you? And it was better than I expected. It was better, and I got better through out the day as I knew my friend more. Brilliant. I know that before we went to Barker End, you had some views about the children, didn't you? And you thought that they'd like different things to you. But now you've got to know them. Are there any similarities between those children? I thought. Because they come from different cultures, they might do things a little different and like different things, but it, um, they actually did like a lot of the same things as me. Well done, good answer. <coughs> Almost everything, we, it was very difficult to find some differences, and we all had the same foods, we had quite a lot of things in common, so. Excellent, so even though these children live so far away from us in, in our town, they've got some differences, haven't they? But lots of things are very similar. Think back to your emotions this morning. Did they change throughout the day? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely.